maybe it's time for us to ask not what print can do online, but what online can do for print. Uh, there was, to some extent, an attitude on the print side that, well, that fad is over and we can move on and not think about that. Now you've got all these people sending video back and all these people who want to start blogs. I think we're now dealing with the challenge of not having enough people on our end to handle all the attention we're getting. You've got all those people in the New York Times newsroom. I know. Do you really need more people or do you need people We don't need more people. Uh, if the publisher's listening, yes, we need a lot more people. <laughs> um, if everybody's trying to make this work in current budgets, we don't need more people. We need, we need more training. We need, more, we need to spend more time. You know, somebody spends three weeks uh, not doing anything for the website or the newspaper, bu but building a tool, and that tool then lets every photographer build slideshows on their own and drop them into the newspaper for the next 10 years, that's a huge kind of a thing. We need to invest much more in the infrastructure that doesn't require more people, but requires more sort of a global look at how we're going to do the whole newsroom as opposed to what we've been doing for a long time. There's really an increasingly urgent need to sort of look at the organization from the ground up and say, how would I rebuild this today if I were starting over? Not how do I tinker with the different pieces on both sides. We have been looking for opportunities to really transform the newspaper, not simply improve what we do on the web. The stuff in the blogs is a lot better than what runs on the inside pages of the Wall Street Journal. Site. I think it's a huge mistake to not have it. I think it's spec suicidal not to have some dialogue between readers and journalists, but you have to accept that there's going to be some crap that comes in with the good, but there's lots of good there if you tunnel down. For all the talk about the death of newspapers, I don't think anybody, well, I certainly don't think the newspaper's going away for some good chunk of time. It's going to change the, the, the view of the newsroom. We're all going to be writing for the readers. We're going to lose all of our news judgment. You know, if you really believe that, then you shouldn't expect newspapers to be around very long because there's no difference between my front page and Yahoo's front page and Google's front page and some guy down the street is doing a neighborhood blog. The reason newspapers are going to be around, all four of the papers up here and lots of other ones, is because of the news judgment, because of what they do, because of the editing, the, the, the eyes they bring to this process. People don't stop reading a newspaper because it's too important in their lives. They stop reading it because it's losing relevance in their lives. And if over time we can, we can use the data and make much more intelligent judgments about what people care about and shape our coverage that way, then that's not a bad thing. Wow, why was my story the number one story? Was it because it was a great reporting, because it was a video slideshow I did with it? Is it because I it was on A1? It's like a uh, drudge link to it. You know, and it's always <laughs> what it is. It's a drudge link to it. Everybody reads our Baghdad coverage. Nobody sends it to their friends. Everybody reads the weird lifestyle and, per and personality and trend stories. And everybody sends those around. It's a new front page, right? It always used to be, here's the front page of the newspaper. We decided what goes on it. And the top of the New York Times website is still that. Editors in the newsroom, including web producers, deciding here's what's going to be on the home page. And then you know what? Down here's the most email box. Here's what readers have on their minds. Here's the most interesting thing they're sending around. Here's what people are blogging about. It's like every one of those is a new front page, a different way into the paper. Why do people get into journalism? It's not for the pay, it's not for the prestige, although this is a pretty cool panel. But it's, but it's to have impact. You want to have impact on the world. And that's not a bad thing, but there is something very powerful on the web about having a better sense of what kind of impact that you're having.